Hi, my name is Brent Baker with Bill Stasek Chevrolet. I've received a few requests since we've been posting videos of Corvettes on YouTube about the differences between Z51 and non-Z51. So I brought in two of our Corvettes to give you a quick rundown of the details that you may need to know before you make your next purchase. To my left, we have the Z51. It's designed as a track car, primarily, but there are a few noticeable differences visually that you can see. First is our 19-inch front and 20-inch rear wheel. Compared to the non-Z51 with the 18-inch and 19-inch wheel. Also keep note that the compound on the non-Z51 tire is more of an all-use, all-season tire. When you look at the Z51, they actually recommend not driving the vehicle under 40 degrees because of the very Summer Express compound in the tire. Now, when you look at the brake rotors, we have slatted vented rotors on the Z51 package. But for the Corvette customer who enjoys keeping their car clean, keep in mind, these rotors don't exactly go through the same tempering process that we have for the non-Z51 rotors. You can notice some corrosion building up from being exposed to the elements. Because of the fact this rotor uses an aluminum core, it can't go through the tempering process known as ferritic nitrocarbonization, or FNC. That's a bit of a mouthful, so Chevy's decided to dub it the Duralife rotor system. On our non-Z51 car, these Duralife rotors will actually double the life expectancy of your rotor. Not only that, it reduces brake dust, brake noise and squealing, and also it'll preserve the life of your pads better. So if you're looking for a car with longer endurance and usability, the non-Z51 might be the right choice for you. Plus you have the additional drivability of a tire that's more suited to all seasons. Let's take a look at some things that may not be visible to the naked eye. On the Z51, in the rear end, we have a transmission cooler and differential cooler. On the coupe, you'll actually have functional vents on the top deck of the rear of the car. On the non-Z51, we don't have those additional coolers, and also on the coupe, those vents aren't functional, but are just there for aesthetics. Underneath the hood, we have a dry sump oil system, standard, both automatic, convertible, coupe, manual, and remember, this dry sump oil system uses roughly three more quarts of oil than a standard non-Z51 oil system. Again, this is more track oriented. In addition to the dry sump oil system, we also have an electronic limited slip differential in the rear. There are plenty of reasons to choose a Z51 or a non-Z51 Corvette Stingray. If you have questions that you need the answer to, please don't hesitate to give us a call so one of our Corvette specialists can go over all the features of the car with you. And if you'd like to pick one up today, we can help you with that or place an order for the future to get just the car you want. Please give us a call at 847-537-7000.